Hi! Hello, stamping friends. Welcome to another Thursday evening here with Marilyn from Stamping Creations with Marilyn, coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada, on Thursday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. Good to see you. As you come on, please let me know where you're watching from, as usual. Say hi to everyone, chat. We have a great community when we're when we're crafting and just sharing things like this. Hello, Lori. I do see you there, so I'm assuming I'm in the right place. So, we have had quite the week, haven't we? Here in Alberta, we've had a time change happen on Sunday. Well, Saturday night, Sunday. Monday was pie day. How many of you had pie? What was your favorite? My favorite all time, if I get a choice, is pecan pie. But we had blueberry pie, actually. Uh, Tuesday was the Ides of March, which I'm always reminded because it's my brother's birthday and he always tells, reminds me that that's the Ides of March. And Wednesday we had an awesome 24 hour sale that uh, Lily and Joanne and I did for Stamping Staycation. And I really wanna thank all of you for taking part in that, who were able to. And today we have St. Patrick's Day. So here we are, great week, busy, busy week, but a great week. And yes, this is my green. I am not a green lover, but I do have some greens to show you afterwards. I'm gonna ask you a few questions and uh, I'll show you Stampin' Up! greens. And there's some of those I really do like. So hello, Marie, hello, Karen, all of you coming on. Good to see you, good to see you here. So as I say, welcome. So let me know, because it's St. Patrick's Day, what is your favorite Stampin' Up! green? I'm sure that most of you know Love your shamrocks, Roz. Welcome. Um, most of you know that we do have quite a number of greens, and those are what I'm going to show you um, in a few minutes. So I'm going to turn the camera down, and as always, please comment. If you comment, I do put your name in a draw for the card we make. And if you share, I appreciate that as well. Um, just love having this, this community of crafters and joining you each week. So... Let me turn the camera down and you keep chatting and I'll get organized. So you see the other side of my room. I'll try not to make you dizzy and get it to where you and I can both see what I'm doing. So just a reminder as we're doing that, I do have monthly card club, which is the third Wednesday of each month. I have a monthly Christmas card class, which is the second Thursday. And I have usually a specialty uh, stamp a stack once a month and that is coming up next week so the registration's closed on that one and then every Friday we have a zoom with friends class which others help me teach um, I think I started it when COVID happened uh, because we were missing each other and, and crafting so we decided we would do that each month each week and so that's been two years and I think the other day when I looked on my YouTube channel, I had, uh, I don't know, it was close to 70 or 80 saved recordings from that. So we have a great time. So if you ever want to join that, just let me know. Reach out to me and I will um, hook you up on the email that goes out Thursday morning. And then you can join us with the, on the Zoom call on Friday. So, so I think that's it for announcements there, plus a few of the, the Stampin' Up! ones, of course. And as you can see here... This was our special that we, we offered yesterday, and I'm happy to say that we have raised, I think last count when I talked to Joanne, it was like about $1,200 that we have sent off to the Canada-Ukraine Foundation. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts to all of you who, who took part in that with us. We really feel um, honoured that we were able to do that. Next, um, hello, Barb, hello, all of you. I have names here I haven't seen before, so welcome, welcome. And I will try and answer comments as we go. If I miss them and somebody else on here knows, feel free to answer. And I will go back and read every one of them afterwards. And of course, we have, as we often tell you, uh, we don't want to go to Facebook jail, so therefore we don't comment on everything because we've heard that that is one way that they might consider you're spamming people and whatever. So, so don't feel bad. Just know that I do read them and I do appreciate them. Savings in Bloom is happening for the month of March. 
a great deal, 20% off the mini, which I am going to show you tonight, and a number of the die sets that fit in the mini. And this is partly why I chose the Pansy Patch Bundle for tonight. Last, last week we worked with the Daffodils, which is a, another bundle that has lots of pieces, and the Pansies do too. So I thought I'm just gonna carry on and work with that one because that one does fit in the mini, and I'll show you cutting a couple of things there. So just remember that some of these at the moment, I can't remember which ones, some of them are not orderable at Stampin' Up because of inventory not being there, but they will be back. But these are all out of the annual catalog, just so you know. And the All Together Bundle, two other bundles that are available till May 2nd when the new annual catalog comes into effect. There's so many things happening, it's hard to remember what is what. And the All Together Bundle is a stamp set, dies, paper, and blends. The blends are not all available right at the moment, but the rest is, and the blends are the only thing that is going are going to carry over to the new catalog. So if you're interested in those, keep an eye out and go to the online store and check daily, every second day, if there's something you really want and you haven't seen it up coming up in the, um, the store there. Waves of the Ocean, I worked on this one a couple of weeks ago. Again, it's available till May 2nd. Beautiful, beautiful blue papers. And this is an early release of the stamp set and dies, so I will be using those lots. They will be in the new annual catalog. And the paper, designer paper, which was done by a paint pour, and then pictures taken, the blue foils and the rhinestones are only available while supplies last. So again, if you're um, interested in those sooner than later. Hello, Norma. See names down here? Great to see. Well, welcome, welcome. And Stamping Staycation, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, save the date. We have another one coming May 7th. We're working on it, anxiously waiting for that new catalog so we can um, find something out of there to share with you for sure. But just remember that Stamping Staycation, we do with lots of alternatives so that you can use what you have. That, that is our goal, is to have you use your own products. We do not sell products with Stamping Staycation. If there's something you want, of course, you're welcome to buy them from us whenever, but we do not sell them as part of Stamping Staycation. So, mini catalog is good till June. So now, I will go to the annual catalog. And, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about the greens because it's St. Patrick's Day. So we have, these are our colors, page 122, 123, and you can see we've got two in the new in colors. We've got a heck of a number of greens. Look at these. Isn't that something? I just went to my filing cabinet, try and put them so you can see, and yes, you might say this one's a blue, this one's kind of a blue, but they're all kind of in the green tones. It's just amazing when you look at at them all together like this that we have so many choices. I know I put a post out today on Facebook asking your favorite. Someone had Just Jade. Someone had uh, Soft Succulent, Old Olive, which is this one. I'm testing my memory here. This is Granny Apple Green. That was another favorite. So tell me, this one actually is Soft Sea Foam. That's a, that is a green. So... Yeah, who knew? So many greens. Tell me which one's your favorite. And don't go by number or whatever. Um, I'm sure you know the names. And if not, just ask somebody and we'll help you with them. I'm not going to try and name them all off on here, but I just wanted to show you that visual of how many greens we do have. Of course, Just Jade, which is this one, will be one of the ones retiring <coughs> at... Uh, well, the retiring list, sorry, the retiring list is coming out to us as demonstrators on the 23rd. So we will know what, um, what is staying 
and what is going as far as everything there. The other news that maybe you've heard from others already, there is going to be a price increase as far as product. They did give us categories. I haven't researched them much, but I will get that out in my newsletter and let you know because the prices, of course, won't be new, won't be increased until the new catalog. And also there's a new shipping, an additional shipping charge going to happen starting on April 1st. It's instead of $9.95 for everything up to $100, it will be $10.95. And after that, it will be um, 11% instead of 10%. So, so just, uh, just so you're aware of that, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't let you know those kind of things in case you want to order in March and save on that kind of thing. So, so I'm going to do a little bit of show and tell just because, again, St. Patrick's Day. These are cards that we made yesterday in my, in my monthly card club. So we took a, a heart die and made a shamrock. And that green is shaded spruce. Just to, um, so that would be shaded spruce. It's cardstock there. This one is done with the Waves of the Ocean paper. And it has green, and this is Coastal Cabana. So see, some of them I do know, but, and kind of a unique way of tying, attaching that ribbon. And then we did a couple of slimline cards. No, well, a little bit of green, I guess, in these. Um, <coughs> pardon me. But this die is to do with the slimline envelopes in the mini catalog. This, this mini catalog. And a real bonus if you have adhesive sheets when you're working with these. They are, <coughs> oh, pardon me, they are wide enough that you could use liquid glue, but the ladies and I yesterday just found it a way easier to have adhesive sheets attaching them. So, so that's that show and tell. I'll show you some more cards I've received at the end of tonight. But because that one was a shamrock one, I wanted to show you. So, I'm going to go on to what we're going to make. I don't see any burning questions. Good, I see you commenting on what you like. Good. So, when I started this, I thought, okay, the pansies I did get when it first came out. And I love pansies. I had an aunt who loved them any kind of pansy, but of course the purple. She belonged to royal purple, so therefore the purple ones were her favorite. So when I got the set, I did this, and you can see there are dyes that layer um, on the flower part, on the leaves. There is paper that has pansies that we can cut out, and that's what I'm gonna show you with the, the mini cut and emboss. There's some for the, the buds. These are the centers that fit right in here. Just, again, so many options. It's just a matter of time. And hi, Betty. Happy St. Patrick's to you, too. Um, so the, path, the stamp set comes with great sayings and a nice script. You have the dies that come with it, and there are 21 of those. And I'm not going to open that because they're not attached, but they just show you this is what you can cut. And tonight, I also used the Ornate Flower Embossing Folder. And that is one of the thicker ones. But there's, you can see what, what it looks like. Done on the uh, Blushing Bride. And I'm also using these Square Vellum Doilies. They come in a package of 24. And I happen to, I've used them actually back in one of our other staycations where I, I don't know if you can see the, the shine on that. I covered them with Versamark and then clear, well, first of all, green, then Versamark, then clear embossing powder because I wanted them to go behind strawberries in the strawberry pack um, bundle. So... You can do things like that with them. Tonight, I'm just going to use them as plain, but a great addition. So, this is what I did, and this is done with the Bumblebee 
which is one of the retiring ones. So <laughs> Kathleen, I forget to use them. Yes. And I've discovered that if I don't have things right beside my desk when I'm doing my planning and whatever, I forget to use them too. So um, it's done a bit of, I've done a bit of rearranging just so they can be there. So I have done basically white, the bumblebee, a white layer, and then here is my vellum doily. And <clears throat> as I was putting these together, I thought, like, this is fresh freesia, which is an in color, but it's it will stay for another year. And I like the whole thing. It is a design that Terry Gaines had used, and I'm kind of casing that. But as I put it together, I thought, I don't know. It the the doily kind of fades and, and doesn't stand out very well. So I'm just gonna leave those there. And the one I'm going to do tonight with you is done with Blackberry Bliss because that is another color that is in the designer paper. That would be this darker color here. And I thought, as I was thinking of it, I thought, wonder if instead of putting this here, if we just put that. So while I gather my supplies, you guys tell me, should I put the white behind it or not? I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to poke out these little pieces because when I went to put glue on, I realized that there was a whole bunch of, it's almost like I did the die cutting and didn't cut it well enough, isn't it? So, so I'm thinking that perhaps on this one, just for something different, if I were to uh, leave this out <clears throat> and just do my layering like this, what do you think? And then my flowers will go and my leaves and, and whatever. So no white behind, use the darker color. Often use the blending brush with ink lightly to help the doilies stand out a little more. That's that's right, Roz. A good good suggestion. Um, you know what? That we could do that as well, and then still use this piece that I have. Let me grab my Blackberry Bliss is right over here, and let's just try coloring it a bit and see if I can do it without I do have a few others to try if I but to just and see what happens um, I know some of you haven't used the blending brushes but you can actually make it use it as a stencil if I wasn't moving it like this and now that I do like thank you Roz Something like that. And of course, if you wanted it darker, you could do more or whatever. So, so I will uh, start by folding my card base. And yes, I was just <laughs> going to say, chances are that when I laid it on there, it was going to get, pick up some of the color. But luckily, this will go over it. Then I will put this. I do like that. I really like that. So for my my words, I do have a happy birthday. And I'm going to try and stamp it straight. Kind of towards... Not bad, hey? And see, that would even look good on that one. But that's the same same pansies I'm going to use. So, so that is... Now, I have a punch. I have a banners pick your punch, which is how I made these flagged ends. So to use that, it's these are half, three-quarter, and one-inch grooves. And this paper, I have cut at three-quarters. And I always turn it over and make sure it's lined up here fairly well. And there is your flagged end. And this one is at one. 
and even uh, if it's not quite accurate you can still get it and you see how and of course you have confetti flying all over but that's okay cleanup time comes later so I'm going to mount those then I'm going to mount these now maybe I'll do that before I do anything else so that I don't lose them have you ever done that been working with something and uh, I see Linda you're on here did you find your magnet <laughs> Linda was part of my my class yesterday and she was asking us where she might have placed her one of her magnets from the Stamparatus. Luckily, it has two, so that uh, I found it. <laughs> Good job, Linda. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. So this, because it is embossed, really works better to use the liquid glue because it fits in some of the humps and hollows. And other than laying it where I've inked, I like to turn it over and burnish it. Then to put this on, I am going to use my silicone mat and a few dots of the adhesive. So tell me while you're waiting, watching, whatever, do you do anything special for St. Patrick's Day? I noticed on the news tonight there was some of the um, bars and lounges in the city quite excited because they could have people there again and they were showing green beer and that kind of thing. So lots of people happy that we can be out and about again, which is good, which is really good. So. Yes, Roz, a <coughs> bowl to place your pieces. Well, these pieces, yes, I have, actually, I'll show you that, in my, my stamp case, I have an old, a whole envelope full of pieces that I've cut out and haven't used yet, so that's a good way to keep them as well. So just following what I did on the others, I'm going to attach the gingham, and this paper, I'll show you in a minute, has greens for some of the gingham uh, because of course it's double-sided and <clears throat> to match the background I just this one again I'm using the fresh freesia and I'm going to use some dimensionals along the bottom because it's going to be here make sure I've got the the bottom side of it and just adhesive for the uh, liquid adhesive for the top to hold it. And I found that you don't need a heck of a lot. And when I do this kind of two pieces with flags, I like to match it up this way. That may just be a OCD thing that I have, but that's kind of what I like. Then what I did, <clears throat> I did die cut these and I placed them. Thought, okay, where do I want them? How am I gonna do this? So there's no real right or wrong. I did pick the lighter color green on this one. This paper, as you can see, has three different shades. I used the darker on here, kind of the, this is just jade, I think, on that one, a little bit darker, and then the lighter, just for variety. <clears throat> so because I'm gonna do it that way, I'm going to put a small, I had Irish stew for lunch. Awesome. I uh, I read somebody's post that they had Irish stew for lunch and a different kind of beer. I don't know if it was an Irish, like with all the craft beers now, you don't know really where it's from. Okay. And again, I'm going to put a dimensional just on the end of that. I personally like the Irish music, like the Irish jigs and, and that kind of thing, but I kind of like music of most kinds, so 
that would be, if I was thinking Irish, would be more what I would be looking towards. But So just place them wherever. Then when I'm going to put this one on, I'm going to put dimensional down here and just glue up here. And therefore I can use the larger. Notice I'm using the edges on here. Don't ever throw out your your um, edge pieces on these dimensionals because they're all sticky and they work really well. I have also been working on some swap cards. So when we do swap cards, we do... i got a dimensional there where I don't really want it. There. We do lots of them the same. And... Uh, you need lots of dimensionals when you're doing that, so it's great to use those little pieces. So therefore, I'm just going to put that little guy up there, and there we go. Now, the other thing that I did with it, had a big green salad. <laughs> green salads are good. That is a good idea, too. We uh, didn't do that. Don't, don't normally do much. Um, way back when, when I... My dad and my brothers and I were in a band. Of course, we, we did have St. Patrick's Day dances that we played for, but um, <clears throat> not anymore. So here is the mini cut and emboss machine. If you haven't seen it, it is really cute. It has the same layout as the bigger one, just smaller. It comes with the, the plates, all the... It would help if I showed you the numbers the right way. One, two, twos, a three, and a four. And for these dies, they do fit in it, which is why this bundle is on sale. So when you look at these, all of these would go through there. So what I did for the cutting, basically, well, you have to figure out which way it goes, but you lay that on and cut it out. That's all there is to it. The other thing that I... I have learned is do not throw away these that are on the edges because you can do something like this. Use them for embellishments either on the inside or on your envelope. And the side now, what else was I going to show you from over here? Oh, the, um, some of the paper, the greens that are in that. I don't know how many chunks I've got that'll go flying here. Um, I don't have the whole package out here, but lots of beautiful pansies in that paper, and that is still in the annual catalog. So, if you're looking to to uh, get any of that, now would be a good time. I do know, did notice today when I was looking on the website that a lot of the um, Inks and ink refills are on the not orderable end of it. So um, just, again, if you're looking for any of those, be aware of that and check every quite quickly, quite closely, so when they're back in order that you can get some. But anyway, that is the mini that is on sale now for 60 some dollars. I don't, don't have that right in front of me. So it's quite easy to take with you if you have a... RV or a lake lot, something like that, that you would like to do your crafting at. So, so those are the cards. Of course, as always, you can put down which one you like, the Bumblebee, Blackberry Bliss, or Fresh Freesia. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to quickly, well, I don't know about how quickly, but I want to share with you some of the happy mail that I've received. I belong to a team, obviously, <laughs> not the one that I lead, but my leader, and we do a, a card swap each month. So this is one from the February that I haven't shown you yet because I just got it, but these are um, die cuts that come. Actually, that's about half of one, I believe. This is paper that we have. This is just stamped on the card stock, a little bit of uh, Wink of Stella on there, and a little bit of green colored around there, so another great green card. So thank you, Pam, for that one. This one is from Lillian, again, with that paper that you saw on my tall card. Um, 
different words that I don't have. Some of the current ribbon and these, hmm, can't remember what they're called, but embellishments that we currently have. So, so many, and really, if you look at that, one piece of designer paper, another piece, and your sentiment. There's not a lot of work to doing that. This one, and I don't know if you're on here, Tracy, but thank you ever so much. Tracy did. There's the die cuts. There's an edge. Looks like a, what is it? Like the back of a dinosaur, doesn't it? And then it meets up here so that your writing is all inside. And then this is designer paper here. Isn't that a neat layout? I really like that. May have to case that one. And then, if you remember last week, we talked about what colors daffodils were. Hello, Linda. Welcome. Uh, Tracy sent me this one because she had mentioned they were, they could be pink. And in her note, she said they can be, this is her bouquet of Narcissus. Anywhere from white on white to yellow to blush, generally. So that, this is the uh, celebration paper we just had, but this is the, the pink version. Love it, Tracy. Thank you. Uh, Gail, one of my downline sent me this one made with the take a break coffee set i do not have that set so love to have cards to show you made with it thanks gail and now we get into the card swap this is from barb so again great use of this die or this punch that you punch it's all the same punch but she has cut it in the center and just mounted it a little bit higher a little bit higher with the different colors of paper. Another green, and this is where she punched it out of. You could uh, have to ask her. It almost looks like she left that open on purpose so you could tuck a gift card in there, like this. I would think that's probably what it's for. So, and just mount it on a, a single, the designer paper does the, fo the fold of it does the card. So thanks, Barb. We'll check that one out later. Another one from Karen. I know you're on here. Thanks, Karen. This is one of those fancy folds that we like so much. And die cuts with the Forever Fern that we've had for a while. And this is just jade paper. This one's from Pam. Again, done in the Ukraine colors, obviously. And I do not have that set, so I really appreciate receiving samples of that. This one is from Marie, and it's done with the artistic bloom paper that we currently have. So imagine that with green. I saw a card today that somebody had posted with the green and the gold. Made it specifically for St. Patrick's Day, but um, <clears throat> all of these are, are great. Uh, Lillian, and this one, this is the green paper that I was talking about. <clears throat> Lillian has done this one with a different catch on it. It's totally designer paper. So you can see the green on the inside, but she's die cut some of them and put a bit of gold behind it. And what a neat way to have it stay shut, if I can get it back where it belongs. And <clears throat> we... we when we do these shares, we include a list of what supplies we've used. So, so I love it. And now, these are the ones that I have done. And they're not as fancy as some of them, but I had to make quite a few. And I did the, rip, the flip side of the blues from the waves of the ocean. So <clears throat> you can see that there are lots of yellows. There's Clipsal Coral. This background is petal pink. I did have ribbon that matched the petal pink, but I did not for these, so I colored them with the blends, and I love how they turned out. I was really pleased. So those of you, I know there's some of you on here who are part of those swaps. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna get, but it'll be one of those three. So, so there's nothing else there. Thank you, thank you for all your comments. I'm glad you like them. I am going to, like I say, I will go back and read all of the, the comments and, and answer what I can afterwards. 
But right now, I have to spin for whoever's going to get this card. And if you don't have a mother that you would send it to, maybe you have a friend you can give it to. I have a couple of <coughs> a couple of ladies um, from our neighborhood out on the farm that I would certainly send something like this to. So it doesn't have to be your mother. As long as they're a mother, they would be celebrating Mother's Day. So, so notice my green wheel for um, St. Patrick's Day. And these are the names of all of you who commented on last week's Facebook Live. And I'm going to spin. And hopefully don't make us dizzy. And the winner is Lori. Congratulations, Lori. Send me your your address and I will um, get that off to you in the mail in the next few days. So please comment. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see. I have lots that I can show you, but I always love to show if it's something that people have actually asked for and would like to see. And some of you I'll see tomorrow on Zoom with friends. And the rest of you, I hope to see next Thursday. Take care now.